Hey y'all, Jan here. For this video, I'm going to show you how to recreate this bubble chart without using any code. So first off, let's take a look at the chart. Uh, it was published in a piece uh, that we had uh, some freelancers do looking at um, love songs and kind of how we categorize them and what groups they belong to. So this bubble chart in particular uh, highlights kind of all of these love songs that were serenades in that pink color. So the first thing we need to do is to grab the data. This link is in the project repo on our GitHub and it's public. Uh, and I'll definitely drop the link um, in the video description uh, to this file. So download that and then we're gonna go to Flourish. And if you haven't worked with Flourish before, it's um, similar to Data Wrapper um, or potentially charts in Canvas, any kind of um, you know charting tool library. So I'm gonna say create a new visualization and again, it gives me all of these kind of base charts uh, that we can look for. The one we're looking for is a uh, bubble map and it should be kind of closer to the bottom here. Still scrolling. Where is it? Here we go. Okay, bubble chart without images. So that's what we wanna make. And then it'll come up. And the way that Flourish is structured is you kind of have your preview panel and then you have your data panel. Um, so we're gonna go over there so we can upload the data. It's gonna upload it, find the latest version, upload that, import it. This is just JSON data. It's gonna automatically kind of populate the columns in the way that we need to. One thing that we're gonna need to do is kind of right click here and say insert row above and label these columns. So this is artist, that's the song title. This is the year, um, this is the category, and if you kind of go back to the uh, original uh, document here, you can kind of see um, you know, what these are. Um, I know from a previous project that um, it looks like this. So artist, song, year, category, and size, with size referring to the um, size of the bubble, and then category being what type of song it is. So size on that and then um, we're going to kind of tell it what to uh, look for in um, kind of all of these things so the label um, what I want it to the label to be is the song title which is column B uh, the color that I want I'm going to color it by categories uh, D I need to size it by E um, the axis values are going to be C, which is the year, so that we'll get it running from kind of uh, least recent to most recent. Uh, and then the info for pop-ups down here will say give us um, A through C, which is basically the artist name, the song, and the year. So then we kind of go back to this preview thing, and you can just kind of see the bubbles start to populate. Um, but right now the bubbles are aligned uh, in the center. So we're gonna say align those left to right and it'll take a second to kind of refresh and reorient himself. Uh, and you can kind of already see that this is getting close to looking at this, like this uh, bubble chart that was made in code um, using Svelte, D3, and Canvas. Um, we can make a few more changes like changing the space between the bubbles and I'm gonna completely take the animation duration off we can also change kind of some of the, the charts and stuff, or the chart setup, which is basically just like, you know, the aspect ratio of it. Um, the colors, I'm gonna add some, uh, just kind of edit the color palette to make sure that I'm getting all of the right colors. Uh, and I'm gonna go back to this kind of previous example that I built so that I can grab the exact colors from that. This is, this color, we'll go back and change it there. That gets all of my bubbles in uh, the correct color. And you can kind of see that it's starting to do some uh, overriding based on, or coloring based on this palette, since it's just got one color. And we're gonna turn off extend, which means that all of the those bubbles are gonna be the same. So they're and then I'm going to go to this custom override 
And what it's going to do is say anything that has a category of one, give it this pink override color. And so we'll go that, tell it to do that, and it will update. So you can kind of see again, we're getting really close to this kind of like bubble um, piece in code. Going to change just a few more things. Um, I don't want uh, kind of a color legend on. Um, I don't want a size legend on. I just want it to kind of show this year here um, so that we know that we're going in uh, the year. And the other thing is I want to make sure that I change the uh, background color. So I think that's in, yeah, layout. And I'm going to grab this background color. I'm just going to grab the hex code. And then the same thing here, layout, just go background color, and then change it to and it'll take a second to update. But there it is. Um, and then I'm going to switch over to this uh, chart that is same thing, but I uh, already built it before this. Um, and then you can say export and publish. For this one, I'm going to say republish, uh, publish without any kind of password protections. Uh, here's the live link to it. And you can see that it looks a little bit like this. It takes a little bit to load because there's a lot of data. Um, but here is the uh, all of the, the song bubbles colored by their song type, which is Serenade. It looks exactly like this, or at least close enough. Um, without using any code, just working in Flourish.